Hey, what is up, heroes, and welcome back to some more Yu Gi Oh! 3DS. Last episode, we defeated Merrick Ishtar in the Legend Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to defeat a lot more duelists to unlock the next Legend Challenge. I'm using the Gym Knight uh, deck level 2 because it's just it's just the best deck to use right now, and I want to duel some pretty tough opponents. We're going to duel this kid right here. So, Blossom Friday Boy. Today's Friday, so I'm off from school, but I'm still dueling. Guy San just recently gave me a new deck. Ooh, my deck requires the use of a coin and die from time to time. How about a little uh, duel? Okay, let's go for it. This could be a really annoying deck, but let's give it a go and then we're gonna duel, I think I remember which one it is. I wanna duel the girl with the other Gem Knight deck because she has some pretty powerful cards and I wanna try and lock her deck because it seems really good. So that's what we're gonna do after this duel. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do. Uh, I think we just, the best thing to do is just set this face down. And then set Drain and Shield just in case you can uh, defeat our face down. And set that. Alright, end turn. So Coin and Die, I can think of a few cards that require that and I am not looking forward to them. Christ Clown, okay. I actually remember this. The newest spell, oh, okay. Dangerous Machine Type 6. Oh, 6 out of die and apply the result. Okay, discard one card, you print discard one card, draw a card, you print draw the card, draw a monster, and destroy this card. So we want. Really, we want a 6, a 4, or a 2. No, sorry, a, a 1. A 1, a 4, or a 6. 1, 4, 6, come on. 1, 4, 6, he activates it. That's fine, you can attack. No, 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 effect. Ooh, that was lucky. Almost activated the effect of Drain and Shield. Did not want that. Whew. That was close. Was it activate the effect? That's good. Was it standby phase or something that way? Yeah, standby. Okay, it's fine. So, let's draw. Okay, that's great. Right, because the computer is uh, quite silly sometimes, we'll just set this as well. Here, attack into it. Take some more damage. And we've got a trap card just in case. Let's set that. Wait for each monster they control. Okay, cool. And let's end turn. So if he summons another monster, we could potentially make their attack zero and he can take 2,100 damage. Alright, come on. One, four, or six. Three, no! That's, he, he draws a card. I mean, it's still. Could have been worse. I mean, so much was. Oh, okay. Well, this card is summoned, including flip summons, which translates one face of monster on the field and changes that battle position. Oh, no. Okay. What's he going for? That? That's fine. Right, so he's going for. That to attack. Let's go for Draining Shield. I don't want to take that much damage right now. I'll stop the attack. Gain the life points. I don't mind taking the 800. Nope, don't want to activate it. Don't want to activate that. Not yet. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. What we got? What we got? Polly. Oh, okay. So, we could potentially win right now if we summon this. Use the Fed, get the Pyro. Polly. Got two monsters on the field, two powerful monsters. Add with the trap, make them have zero attack. Can't activate any traps, 2,300 damage. Bam, win. Alright, let's see if this actually works, because if it does, we win. Just bits give his face down. Could stop us, but I'm feeling a little bit confident, so. Don't mind too much. Fusion summon. Okay, 
Alright, got our Gem Knight. Next, we're gonna go activate our Trap Card. Can we not activate it? Oh, it's when they attack, isn't it? Oh, we still can't do it now, okay. Oops, my bad. It's fine. Can still do some major damage here. Can't have any traps when we attack with this, so... Take that damage. We're about to do... Uh, what's that? That 800 attack or was it 900? Cool, 900 damage right now. Oh, sorry, more than that, isn't it? No, 900, yeah. Cool. We end our turn. And everything's all good. Come on, 146, 146. Yes! Okay. Gonna make a defense position. 500 defense. I could potentially make it zero attack. There's no point, I'll just, I'll just win next turn. Nah. I could make you lose 800 life points and then... Sorry, 500 life points and then win, but there's no point. Go straight for the battle phase and we win. Easy peasy. Oh, what? You have, oh, you have 100 life points? Maybe I should have done it then. My math was so off. I just, I just felt confident enough we could do enough damage. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. I didn't think. I just thought you had such little life points left. There's no way to survive the attack. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Alright, come on. Give me a monster. Not the monster I was hoping for, but... Battle. And if we draw a pyro, then we're fine. And turn. Just gotta wait for that monster we can summon. Okay, on well, a coin toss to perform, you can choose to redo the coin toss. Oh, great! Come on, Pyro, 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 Pyro! Not what I want, but I'll activate it just in case. And then we're attack. Oh, okay, toss a coin, heads, draw two cards, tails, draw- Okay, come on. Get tails twice. Can't tell what that is. He draws two cards, okay. And that card again, okie dokie. Come on, draw a pyro. Or any, any gem knight, really. Pyro, 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 not what I want, but still good. Wait, can we potentially just, uh... I was going to cleanse an attack. Ugh. That's fine. Just got a battle. It's annoying when you just want to draw that one card. I got oh, three pyros in the deck. So I've got two left and I can't even draw one. Stop with no hint. Just give me the card I need. Five. Oh no. It's fine, I get the materials back right though, right? So that's fine. Oh, you didn't get one. That's fine, got a pyro. Is that a monster? Okie dokie. Come on, draw one card, one card, one card, one card, one monster card. Perfect, there we go, let's win. Please don't have more than 1,900 defense. So far your deck doesn't seem like it would have it, but 
just in case. Good. And then we win. Oh, okay, monster effect. Okay. That's fine, now you, now you lose. Unless your face down is a trap and it can stop me. There we go, that went on a little bit longer than it should have gone. I should have just aimed for that trap when you attack. You took the damage and then we win. I just thought my Gemini Fusion could easily take you out. Made that like five turns longer than it needed to be. Oh my god, Barrel Dragon! Dude, I remember that card so bad. Bandit Keith, man. I remember when I pulled a, ba a Barrel Dragon out of my pack, I was so happy. Had that for so long. Right, any more duelists around here that want to duel? None of these ones seem to want to. Maybe a bit later on. Oh, I don't remember all three of these wanting to duel, like you. Oh, Xyz Researcher, hey now. Have you been keeping up with the tournament? I sure have since I'm an Xyz uh, Researcher. That means I like to study Xyz summoning quite intensely. Those are the black cards that you see in your extra deck. How about taking a crash course in Xyz summoning with me? Let's have ourselves a duel. Oh, 100%. I wonder what kind of Xyz deck you're going to use. She had wind-ups. Oh, 100% I'll be doing that all the time to try and look a wind-up deck. Like, ah, oh, I remember when wind-ups first got like announced, I was like, this deck, this is going to become the best deck at some point. My friends were laughing at me because of the little toys, and then at the start they looked terrible, you know. But then, you know, obviously more support came out and came out, and then wind-up rabbit just got... Oh, wind-up rabbit was so good. Love my wind-up deck. It was annoying because I made the deck because I, I genuinely liked the look of the card and I didn't know it was going to be the best deck in the game. I just thought, you know, I was just joking and said it's going to be the best deck in the game because I want to use it. And then uh, it became the best deck in the game for a while and it got hit really hard. Really hard. Right, so I'm going to just straight up... Actually, I'm just going to... No, I'm just going to attack your monster because I don't want you exceed summoning. Let's just battle... And if worst comes to worst, we you know, we still got a pyro in our hand. We need to uh fusion fusion summon. Oh, 2000 defense? Oh, what is that? What deck are you using? Constella, okay. Whew. Seems pretty good. Let's go have to uh end turn. Nothing I can do. Continue a spell, okay, the activation of light monsters effects cannot be negated. Okay. A little scary. Alright, when this kind of normal summon, you can smash someone level 4 level, it's going to go from your hand. Okay, she's going to have a full field. If she gets a, a rank 4 of 3 monsters, what, she, what can you get, like Shockmaster? Nah, they wouldn't put Shockmaster in there, that'd be too broken. I don't know if Shockmaster wasn't bad. It's probably still banned now because that was a good card. Okay. Right. Oh, good. Oh, she's just going in for an attack. I think we need to think about. So that's 200. Oh, wow. That's like what? 3,000 damage right there. Just gonna live this turn. She is very powerful. I need to get po uh, Polly right now. I need a Polly. Otherwise, I pretty much lose. Or, not that. My only option is to set this and we can live a turn. If she doesn't exceed summon. But she got four, three level. Uh, Three ranked fours, or level fours, you can easily make a rank. Rank four? Oh, this is not good. She is just very tough. Okay, it's fine. We live another turn. Attacking your strongest, that's fine. Ha! 
Defense too good. Like, come on, Polly. Give me Polly or the um, Gemini Effect Monster. I can't remember his name. Did not want to draw that. That's not good. I don't even set in a monster. Ooh, maybe I can set that. How much attack have they got? One free. Oh, is it both one free? Okay. I thought that was one eight. Like, it's so blur blurry. Alright, uh. Let's set this. Because if she doesn't attack it with her higher monster, we can have two monsters on the field living. And basically, then potentially tribute next turn for our boss monster. It's, it's risky. We'll see. Come on, what are you going to do? You'd exceed someone, surely. Nope, okay. I like her deck. I want to get her deck. Nope, our strongest attack in that, okay. Not good. I was hoping you wouldn't do it, but you did it. Come on. Polly, Polly, Polly. Yes! Right, now we're talking. Right, what we can do. Fusion summon. Um, get the fusion and go for Swing of Memories. Bring that bad boy back. Have the continuous spell in case it dies. Okay. I want to keep my 2,500 defense on the field just to be there just in case. Alright, now we're going to uh, summon this bad boy. Two materials we use are on our hand. I maybe she's holding the swing of memories for now. I think maybe just activate swing of memories just to take out her monsters. I think I should. It's not that much damage though. Um, no, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Right, let's activate this for emergency and then. Activate Swing of Memories. Get our boss monster back for one turn. Woo! Turn this door around. That's where she drops like Honest and just destroys me. <laughs> right. Battle. Right, take our two weaker ones. Just do some damage. And then take out this one. See you later. Right. I think it was worth it. Right now we're in turn. Because now we've got... If our boss fusion monster dies, we can get that bad boy back. Spell card? Oh, that's fine. Oh, whatever I draw after discard anyway. No! That's a good card! Oh man. Oh wait, what? This card is sent from your hand to the graveyard, you can special on it from the graveyard. Can we use a synchro material monster? Okay, it's level 3. Right. If you summon a level 3, you might have a rank 3. Is that what you're going for? What is she planning? Oh, she's making a rank free. Okay, during your main phase, you can uh, normal summon one. Someone's in your. Okay, that's fine. She is going to seize a rank free. What rank freeze have you got? Like, there's Leviathan Dragon I can think of. Um. The X Saber one I 
cannot remember. Invoker? That's not Invoker, is it? Oh, she's taking so long. Look, we get it, you're gonna exceed summon. There you go. Oh, what's she getting? What's she getting? Also, Constella. Alright, okay. Makes sense, you know, we're Constella deck. I don't know what you do though. You look really cool. So, two level light monsters. Once a turn, you can detach one exceed control of this card, change almost your opponent controls with the face up defense position. Right, you still can't beat my 2100 defense though, but you defeat that, which is fine. So, we bring out our boss monster. So, you do this, you get destroyed. So, that's fine. Go for it. I, I, I encourage this, 100%. Go on, take me out. I don't mind. Thank you very much, and now I just summon my better monster, or my stronger monster. I need to grab the charger, because we are losing battery. Right, so activate effect. Wait, what? Why can't I, uh... Got to put an attack mode because she can probably kill me with the uh, Xyz. Why can't I get a boss monster? Has it got to be level 4? Is she going to crash? Okay. Sorry. Sure. Is it is it because I used Swing of Memories that why I couldn't get the big dot boss dude back? I'm guessing so. That's annoying. Oh, that's a good card. Just gotta set that. And end turn. 2,100 defense. She cannot get above it. It seems, which is great. Send off the face down. All right. 2,100 attack still pretty tough for us. Right, cool. We just need to draw one card. We need the Pyro or we need the Armadillo. That monster again, okay. Come on. Yes! It's risky. Let's fusion, because even if she does summon another XCs, and it's that same one again, she puts me in defense, that can't beat this dude. We win by 50 defense points, so all we have to do is take out that 2100 beater, and then we are in a perfect position. And even if you can manage to beat, I've got the trap card to destroy my monster, destroy hers, and do a thousand damage. I think destroy the monster as well, I'm not too sure, I need to read it, but... Target the attack of monsters. Yeah, okay, yeah. Destroys it as well, so it's all good. See you later! Any... what? 50 damage? Or 150 damage? No, just... 100 damage, we're good. Whew. If worst comes to worst, I special summon the uh, fusion material used for it, back in defense, pos defense position, and we good. Monster. Okay. Let us get them what they are, but. Right, cool. We could actually bait her out into attacking this, because a lot of times people just think, oh, defense this monster, let me attack it. Alright, attack one monster, just see what it is. It doesn't seem like anything too good. I thought she was going to try and deck me out though. Don't deck me out. This is a mean thing to do. Mean thing, lady. Okay, uh, up to two. 
twice per turn, you can target one Cristal on the field and activate one of the effects. Cristal level 1, reduce level 1. Okay. I think I know what she's going to go for. Right. So both make each other level 3? Oh no, it's a different one. You summon another one from your hand. Could be a level 3. Right. I still don't know what you're trying to do here. Up to twice per turn. So it could potentially target itself, make these both level 3 or 5. Battle! Sick! Take them life points, girl! Nope, don't activate. Because you're about to take some damage! Right, just need to get under a thousand and then we can just use that trap card when she attacks and win. Well, I want to take out that, this one here, the 1800 one, because I just cannot have her changing levels and draining shield. Great. Set that bad boy down. Just in case. We are looking good right now. We turn this duel around from the start. I thought we were going to lose. You out because I don't like your effect. Can't affect your back row. Alright, end turn. This is a crazy duel. Alright, what are you going to do now? I reckon probably put that monster in defense position? I mean, I would. Oh, you can even attack? Okay. Right, cool, I'm going to summon you. And you can be our bait. All that attack. Because this will do enough damage, put you under a thousand, and then if you next turn try and attack my uh one of my monsters, you lose. You lose. And okay. That's not good. Under a thousand life points now. Woo! This is such a close duel. We're taking the lead just about. Just so close. Alright, end turn. Go on, attack me. How much attack has that got? Can't afford to lose. Me neither. Thousand, you're not gonna attack me. Damn it. It's fine. We still got this. Plans effect. Okay, that's fine. Do what you must. It's all good. So, with two cards in hand, you can summon another monster. Don't know what that extra deck is, but she can make a rank 5 or a rank 3 or a rank 4. Oh, what's that? Cannot conduct your battle phase. No, I want you to conduct your battle phase though. That's what I want. I want you to do that, then I win. It's probably the longest duel I've had in this game so far. Right now, summon your monster. So long to do our turns. And ends up after that? Okay. 
can I win now? I think I can win. 550 life points left. 2200, that's 600 damage, right? She can't activate any trapped on anything with the fusion, so we win. Surely. Yeah, we win. Whew. She's also, she played so well at the start and she just, like, just gave up. Oh my goodness. That was a very, very long reward and duel. Got some nice Constellas. Okay, 510 DP, not bad at all. But I'll tell you who I'm going to want to do next. I think. Oh, you're new. I'll do you then. Feeling energetic tonight, laddie? Been practicing my shadow boxing today. But enough about me. I'm getting a little bored, so how about a quiz? First word is the name of the c name of a city. The last word is the type of terrain. Wouldn't want to be stuck there if uh, if you catch my drift. What's that? Do you need a little uh, hint? Okay. This is pointless. That's correct. Wait, what? You need salt flat? Okay. It's an area totally void of water and vegetation. It's hugely spacious and dry out there, and it's really pretty. It's definitely some place I want to visit someday. Alright, I guess you've warmed up enough from, th from that quiz. Want to duel? Sure. <laughs> okay. I was going to uh, duel Joey Wheeler again, but it's level 2 deck, so we can start unlocking it. I get, get enough of the cards from them, from beating him, potentially unlock his deck and we can start using it, but... This guy's just, just seems more interesting right now. Right, what should we go for? Alright, summon... Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna summon you. Defense, because 1,000 extra defense, not bad. And just in case, set down our trap. He said shadow boxing. The only thing I can think of like shadow is shadow. And then boxing the um the boxing deck. Well I thought they're called. Oh, what is that? Steel Swarm! Oh no. I hate Steel Swarm. Okay. That's fine. Look at the top five cards, or look up to five cards from the top of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck, and then you're supposed to distribute one more summon addition to your normal summon. Okay. It's fine, I guess. Plans effect, tribute the monster, that's fine. Right, when this card is tribute summoned, um. Oh, what was the um, Xyz? There's a really good Xyz that was really expensive for a while at the start. I think it's Still Swarm Roach, maybe? It's a good one. Um, it's got as a tribute summoned by a tribute that Still Swarm also You can pay a thousand life points to target up with two cards your opponent controls or turn them to the hand. Oh no. Okay, so if I take 2,400 damage. Okay. It's still fine, it's still fine. We're still in this. Oh no. Do we just lose? I, we lose. We lose. He just... He just FTK'd us, right? First... What a god hand he had! There was literally no beat and there was nothing I could have done. He destroyed me! That was literally the best hand you could have had and he just got it. What was that man? I want a rematch. He just, just sent me to the Shadow Realm, oh my goodness. 
got no chance. Wait, only Chan. Hey, only Chan. I finally get my chance to duel with you in the next stage. But I'll be there to observe as well. Big brother, why must you always interfere? Don't know what you're getting into. That's why I'm here. You just want to tear me away from Oni Chan. You're so cruel. I, uh, that's not what I'm doing. Well, you managed to defeat the uh, last legend, but I wonder who will be next. Hm, I'm sure it'll be someone with a bloodthirsty appetite. Huh, like who? Probably the great Seto Kaiba himself. He still wants to prove that he can defeat Yugi as well. He holds a power that's pretty well on par with the King of Games. Hm, that'll be, uh, next to impossible for you. Sounds like fun. But first, I'm going to have some fun in my duel with Oni-chan. I'm going to be the one who will go on to face Kaiba. I'm sorry, Sukio, but eventually I'll have to defeat you as well. Don't worry, after I defeat Oni-chan, I'll just beat you too. Ho! Oh, what? Is she serious? Do you haven't seen the true darkness awaken inside me yet? When I unleash that power, there's no one in this world that will be able to stop me. Be quiet, big brother. Oni-chan and I are talking. See you later, Oni-chan. Let's have fun in our duel later. Wait, I unlocked the next legend challenge already. The darkness and the light are always supposed to be together. Tsukio is my little sister and I won't let, let you have her. You know I'm still here, right? <laughs> what? Where did you come from? Please don't hurt me, Tsukio, no! Okay. I hope I've still got a bit more to go. Rank 25? Right, who should we do? What, what are you? Ooh, hello. Joyful Saturday girl. Okay. Uh, Garden of Evil, level 1 or max? Let's go level 1 first, I don't want to go for max and just get max destroyed. So we'll go level 1 and see what we can do. If the deck's too easy, then we'll do again and go for max. But Garden of Evil... Oh, I had a really cool, like, plant deck at one point. Most of my wind-ups made, um, wind-up plant and I made top, top 4 at locals. Oh, it was so fun. That deck was just like... Because no one knew what to expect, like was going to be wind-ups, was going to be plants, and just, it, it worked, surprisingly. Alright, so what, sh what should we do? We can... Alright, I want to summon you. I'm going to get my boss monster out first, just so I don't draw it, because I hate drawing it. And then go and get him. Now we good. Set draining shield, just in case she can summon a monster that can beat that bad boy, but I don't think she will. Alright, and end turn. Please do well, please do very well. Okay, so that's a card face down. If we draw a pyro, it's over. Or the armadillo. Draw armadillo. Not what I was hoping for, but it will do. Alright, I'm going to summon this. If we draw the armadillo, we could potentially have won. Yeah, we could have won. Alright, let's battle. Please don't have a scary face down. Oh, what is that? Oh, I remember this dude. Each player discards one card. If this card is destroyed by battle, the monster that's destroyed loses final check and defense. I mean, it's not what I thought it was. I got discard a card. I don't know exactly what I got discard. Then not discard a poly. Now, so lose final draw attack, which is fine. Oh, whoa! What is that as well? When the monster you control is destroyed by battle, instead of the graveyard target that. Monster push them in face up defense position, but if it is destroyed during your end phase. So there's no point attacking again. Alright, end turn. So if I destroy it again, then my other gym not just leave 500 attack and defense, there's no point. If she's gonna tribute it, then that would be bad. Jerry Beans Knight? Or Beans Man? I'm about to say Beans Knight. I'm gonna uh, drain and shield this. Oh, I'm definitely gonna drain and shield this now. Okay. 
this is not good. Oh, this is really not good. We're in such a pickle, we're in such a pickle. It's gonna crash. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta let her do that. It's annoying, but... I'm gonna activate this. We've got 2,250 life points. I can't complain. We need to draw Pyro. Can we confusion summon our boss monster? Come on, the Pyro card I need. Not good. I'm just gonna set you. What's my fusion? How tough is my fusion, dude? I still can't even beat it. I don't know what I'm going to do. The only thing I can do is I need to use one of my trap cards or I need to get our boss monster in the graveyard and swing a memories it just to bring it back for a turn. Back at full HP and he can take on take on Jerry Bean's man. This card against an attack for each plant type monster they sent from the field to the graveyard. Okay. But right now it'll be 1,850. That's fine. Bad. I think we've lost this duel. Glad I didn't battle her max deck because, oh my goodness. Right, I need to draw. Swing of memories. Let's go, boy! That, my friends, is just heart of the cards. Needed that card so bad. Oh, now I'm actually getting a little bit worried. No, it's fine, it's fine. Right, so now... What we want... Is... That is plant, yep. Got to attack. Beat this bad boy. Right, you're gone. Plant gets now 2050 attack. Where does the lucky ass go back to the top of the deck? I don't think it's something else. No, we're fine. Okay, we're still fine, we're still fine. Okay, uh, someone face up monster you control, send one face up plants from your hand to the graveyard during this turn, the selected. Again, read the rest of that. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. She can attack twice. Oh man, we need to have that. Defense card. That's <sighs> not what we wanted. She summons a monster, we lose. We lose. Could have came back. If we just didn't draw a horn of the unicorn, if we drew the 2100 defense, or even just. Just anything else. That's the worst possible card to draw. That's so annoying. She is tough, man. I really thought we we're gonna turn that around. That would be such a good turnaround if we won. Oh well. Right, I want to, uh... Oh, I told you before, intelligent student? Okay. 
Right. Let's do. Don't know what deck you're going to use, but it's always going to find out other decks. That plant deck, though, that was so good. Right. This hand doesn't seem that bad, actually, so far. Angel deck? Okay. Oh, like a light deck. Shine Angel's always good on a light deck. Okay, this is... So, so far, so good. Never mind that. Alright, this is good. I'm gonna summon you in defense position. Because I think you're gonna attack into me. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Gonna try for a battle, okay. Take that 700 damage, girl! If I draw Polly, it's over. If I draw Polly, it's so over. Ah, okay. Alright, I wanna summon you. Activate effect. Wait, what was that? Floodgate trap hole. When your opponent summons a monster, change that monster's face time position. A monster's change face time position, but this effect cannot change the battle positions. I mean, that's that's fine-ish, I guess. Let's look at the effect though. Yeah, we do. Can't complain about that. Just in my turn. I mean, it sets me back a turn, but it's fine. I don't mind. Just three cards in hand, or four now, and we have five, so. Hand advantage and field advantage, I am not worried. Well, she's gonna take attack the face down, so it's fine. Is that another one? Okay. Destroy them two, they're gonna special summon another dude from the deck, so. It's all good. Right, what we want is Polly. Polly, 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 not Polly. Right, so let's summon you. And we will activate the effect. Get our boss monster, obviously. So we don't want, don't want to draw him. Next, I am going to activate Horn of the Unicorn. Power him up. Just want to do as much damage as I can right now. And battle. If we drew Polly. Oh man, Polly would be so good. And special summon your monster, it's all good. What are you gonna get? Another Shine Angel? In a, why would you be in attack position? She's got three cards in her extra deck. I don't know what she does with them. Remember, it's Synchro, Exceeds, Fusion. No idea. Defense position, okay. And no defense position? Fine. Alright, she's got no more shining angels. Cool. Alright, let's summon this dude. And a bit of effect, just in case. Yeah, we still not to activate it because you don't want to draw the car, we can just get it now. This dude, so we can get anything we want. 
Right, she's going to special summon two monsters after I defeat these two monsters. But there's no more uh, special summoning after this, because obviously no more Shining Angels. What's she getting? Oh, she's not special on anything else? Okay. It's not just Shining Angel you can get, right? It's any like light type under 1,500 attack. Alright, cool. Oh, now she's gonna do it. Moki Moki. Okay. Oh, is it gonna be an attack position? I guess she waited, because if it's gonna be an attack position, I could easily attack that Moki Moki my Gem Knight level 7, just destroyed her in one. Thinking, what you gonna do? Let me get put into. Oh, what's that? I mean, of ambition, according to a normal monster, if it battles a monster of a higher level than an equipped monster against 500 attack, the difference in levels. Oh, is that? One. Oh my god, six. Six times 500 is. Uh, oh, I can't even do math right now. Uh, 3,000? Be 3,300, right? Surely. Am I wrong in saying that? No, it's 3,000 attack, yeah. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So she can uh, beat my boss monster, which is not good. Continuous spell. Oh, what's that? What are you doing now? Well, face up Moki Moki on your side of the field. If a fairy type monster on the side of the field is struck by battle, the attack beats Moki Moki on your side of the field. It becomes 3,000 attack. Okay. Right. She is just preparing to destroy me right now. I'm not liking this. And how long she's taking. Girl, you're taking so long. You... There you go, battle. That's not even do anything. Just take my boss monster. You know you're gonna. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, this is just dandy. Right, so is it when it attacks me or is it when I attack it as well? I don't know what I even need here. I mean, that, that would do. Life points back, but... Um... Let me read the cards. So, fairy type monster is destroyed. So it does. This doesn't. This is irrelevant right now. If it battles a monster of a higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack the difference in levels during that battle only. Okay. So six levels in difference. So that's 3,000. Be free. I need a little bit more attack. The only thing I think I can do is if I set draining shield. We need to get a trap card, the one that lowers the attack. Like, I'm not sure if it lowers original attack or just lowers its attack in general. Even if it's original attack, that 300 makes the, the world a difference. So we just have to wait and see. Depends what she wants to do. That card is so powerful. She can't defeat my my defense position monster because it will give her 1,800. Come on, attack me! Give me that 3,000 life points. Yes, go on, go on, love. Give me that lovely, lovely life points. Oh no! I'm gonna have to activate this! Wait! I'm gonna get 300 because it's, it's during battle calc, isn't it? I 
Wait, when do you get when do you get the attack? Surely I thought we'd have got okay. I'm so confused. Alright, 1800. That's the difference. That's how much it will have. So if I can summon Pyro, Pyro can actually beat it. Yeah, Pyro can beat that Moki Moki. So if we battle. Should be, yeah, 1800. Cool. And then we just do this and take out the face down. The next turn we should win. Okay, so activate the effect goes back to the top of the deck. You might have another Moki Moki, which I really hope you don't, but if you do, it's, it's fine, so we can take it out. There's one Moki Moki, so you've got one more left in your deck. Yeah, assuming you have three. But I can put whole Unicorn on the Pyro, and then we'll win. So I am not worried at all. Oh, she doesn't have one. Sweet, we win. Whew, that was, uh... That's the card I was looking for. Or the other one. So we can just destroy the Moki Moki. But, let's win. Yeah, boy! What do we get for this duel? We get... Oh, the Moki Moki King! That's the card she must have in her extra deck. Sweet. So now last duel of the day, I think I'll duel Joey just to, uh... Unlock cards for his deck. Hey Joey, you want a duel? Oh, okay. Level two in front of Fire Blast. Someone was like in my stream saying, "Folks, you should do a uh, whole episode of Yu-Gi-Oh just talking in Joey's accent." I'm like, "Yeah, I can't. If I could do his accent, I so would." I'm like, why? I'm not even. No, I'm not even gonna try it. Like every time I say, "I'm looking at the accent," and I, just, I always attempt it straight after. I'm not gonna attempt it. So now I'll just get absolutely just ridiculed in the comments. <laughs> Right, hand so far, not bad. Okay. That's fine. Can beat that right now. Panther Warrior, okay. I mean, you've got two cards left in hand. You just waste a lot of resources for that, and I'm fine. If I drew Polly, oh. Sometimes it's just like, if I just have a certain- if I just have one card, I can go off with such a big combo. Alright, activate effect. What should we take out? I'm, get, I'm thinking Pamper Warrior. When you can't attack without tributing a monster, so, and you get a defense position, then you have very low defense, right? And you have zero defense? So probably the 1800 is probably best to take out. 1600, okay, it's fine. But you do have equip cards. But you had is it Salamandra? I'm gonna take out the Great Angus because it, it's Pyro type. I think I think Salamandra equips onto that. Is it Warrior type? It's Beast. I'm gonna take out Pamper Warrior. Pamper Warrior scares me a little bit. Right. So far, so good. Copycat, oh no. Oh no. Would he crash me? He's gonna crash me, isn't he? And do 1,000 damage. He's gonna 100% crash me. Yep, he's gonna crash. Oh, copycat, why? Great. So far, so good. <laughs> I can still take that out, which is fine. 
two cards in hand still. I'll draw one with three. Got three of my pyros. Not what I, exactly what I want, but could activate. No, we need to take this uh, dude out now. It scares me a little bit. damage and then we in turn if I draw a poly it's all I need is a one poly Monster face down that's fine continue a spell oh this thing again okay it's fine it's fine Where's my poly at? I'm gonna thin my deck out a little bit. Let's get you. Alright, let's see if we can hopefully do some damage to Joey. Time Wizard. That's fine. Joey's hand must be so bad right now. Alright, in turn. Come on, we want one, four, or six. Yes! See you later! <laughs> Sucks to be you, Joey. Okay, oh, he's gonna take my armadillo. Oh, maybe he won't. His last two cards are just something that screws us over so much. Right, we want a trap card now. We want our horn of the unicorn. Oh man, this is not good. 800. Come on, trap card or horn the unicorn. Eleven cards in deck. That that will do for a turn. I doubt you could summon a monster that could beat these. I'm gonna bait you into attacking. If we could get the um, the Gem Knight XCs for the deck, like if you could like make custom decks, that um, Gem Knight Pearl, 2600 beta, 2 rank 4s, we'd just be fine all the time. Alright, come on Joey. Don't have anything good. Anything? Nothing good. Okay, whatever you got you can't use. Could be Red Eyes. Alright, I'll take that 2500 life points, thank you very much. I know what card I need. Just one of them. Ten cards left. Polly wouldn't even help right here. I'm probably gonna draw Polly now. That's perfect. Exactly what we needed. We good. We good. All three pyros out. A bit risky here, but got my pyro army. Set that down. If Joey wants to just like summon another monster, then all good. It's 800 less, puts him down to 1,700. Take 200 life points, but if he does another one, that'll be 1,000 life points. Come on, summon another monster. Come on, Joey. Okay. Perfect, we win. Which one should I attack? Joey, they're all the same monster, it doesn't matter. But now you lose 800. And then we just attack and win. Right, 
draw. Polly! Hello, Maz. Battle and win. Thanks, Joey, for the easy duel. You win! Oh, got Panther Warrior, Little Wingard, and that spe spell card that does a special summon, another monster. Excellent. Alright, so we might now unlock the Legend Duel, or Legend Tournament 4. Depends what rank we are. We lost one duel, but we won two, so I don't know. Yes! Oh, what's this? Congratulations, you made it to rank 2 or 21. You know what that means? You can now participate in the fourth stage of the Legend Challenge. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? We should throw you a party. But maybe after you actually bring home the gold. So in order to do that, make sure you get plenty of practice. Am I missing anything? Alright, so before you face off against the Legend this round, you'll have to duel against someone who's the same ranking as you. And this time your opponent will be a Tsukio, isn't it? Light Tsukio-san and Dark Kuros Kurodo-san. Both of them? Wait, go battle both of these dudes? Because the powers of light and darkness, your suffering will not be swift. Can it be like a god? That was the scariest test I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it seems like President Kaiba is quite popular, but I guess that's because he's really a powerful duelist. Well, it looks like this time around, aim to defeat President Kaiba. So, oh, okay. Well, it's getting interesting. Well, we're gonna end this right here. Next episode, we're gonna enter the uh, Legend Rank Four Challenge. Thank you guys for watching, have a great day, see you next time, peace!